A millionaire friend from Oklahoma. And where do we go tonight? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about later. I'm going to have to break our date. Oh, you have no more pass? No, that's not it. I'm, I'm just going to have to call off our date, that's all. Oh? I should have realized you're a soldier. You can't possibly afford to take a girl out every night. No, it's nothing like that. See, I had a great time this afternoon. Oh, so did I. I, I I've been thinking about it ever since. I like you a lot. I'm glad. More than a lot. I'm more than glad. You see, a guy like me, on temporary duty, he meets a girl he thinks a lot of, like you. They go out together and they have a good time, and all of a sudden things start to get serious. Huh? And before you know it, somebody gets hurt. I don't want that to happen. See, you've obviously given the matter much thought. I have. You're trying to tell me that it would be best for me that we do not see each other anymore. Yeah. Well, I guess that's it. Hi, Have Joe. a chair. Sit down. Boy, have I got good news. No roommate tonight. I bought Tina a plane ticket to Milano. The coast is clear. So, sorry, I just canceled out. You what? Oh, no. You didn't tell Lily about the bat. I didn't tell Lily about anything. I just called off our date, that's all. There's no need in both of us thinking I'm a heel. You're off of your rocker. Look, Cookie, I'm going back to the barracks. The bet is off. But Tulsa, you... Nothing you can say will change my mind. Okay. Okay, so you were born with a decent streak. It's not your fault. Nobody's perfect. Sorry, fellas. A style of gin. Right? Yavo, yavo. Hi, fellas. Hi, Mike. Hey, uh, Rick's been trying to reach you. Left this number for you to call. Very important, he says. Thanks a lot, Gene. Hi. <laughs> What's everybody so happy about? Oh, shut up. What did I say? I got an idea. Don't do nothing until you hear from me. Hey, where's he going? What are you guys planning? Yes? It's me, Cookie. Well, come in. I'm very pleased to see you. You are? I was just having a drink. Won't you join me? Yeah, I don't mind if I do. It's none of my business. You were gonna drink all of this alone? Not all. Just a little. My morale is very low, Cookie. Mine too. I was about to ask for a tranquilizer. This should help. It's too bad about you and Tulsa. He's quite a character, your friend. I'm not used to men who break dates with me. I don't blame you for being sore at him. Oh, I'm not uh, sore. I admire him. We'll drink a toast. To a gentleman? Yeah, Mr. Mm. Benedict Arnold. You know, Cookie, in this business it's very unusual and very refreshing to meet a young man with principles. I shall miss it. You are a number, Miss Lily. Oh, yes, I'm ready. Will you excuse me? Hey, of course, I, I gotta join my gang, too. <laughs> I wouldn't miss your number, Lily. Fellas, you're looking at a guy that just left the babe that is really carrying a torch. I'm giving it to you straight. The welcome mat is still out for Tulsa.
said Tina was on her way to Milano. Yes, she is. The roommate. <laughs> She's probably been there and back already. These jet flights get faster every day. See you later. <laughs> Tina, baby, you're not supposed to be here. See, I turned to my mind. Yeah, but you were so homesick for Milano. But then, if you leave, I'm homesick for you. And I miss my work. Oh, and I missed you too, sugar. Right after you get through working tonight, we're gonna do the town. Just you and your cookie. Oh, good cookie. 